Hey guys, welcome to my Sony Vegas Pro 13 tutorial. Today I'll be going over the user interface. Um, first, I want to tell you about a great website called Mr. Rebates. It's a site that I use. It's free to sign up. Um, what it is, it's a rebate site. And as you can see here, they have stores. Basically, what the way it works is when you are making purchases online through stores like Sears or Walmart.com or Target.com. What you'll do is you'll log into your Mr. Rebates account and you'll click their link out to the store and when you do that you get a percentage of your purchase back as a rebate through your Mr. Rebates account. As you can see here there's uh, like Neiman Marcus it'll give you 8% cash back on a purchase you make through Neiman Marcus as long as you log into your Mr. Rebates account. Anyway, it's free to sign up. I'll put the link below. It's a great site. Let's get on with the tutorial. Today's tutorial, um, we're going to go over the user interface with in say, blah, excuse me, Sony Vegas Pro 13. Uh, the first thing you'll see is that you have your media window over here. Uh, basically what this does is it shows all the media that you're going to be using audio, photos, video for your project. Um, the next window here is your trimmer window. I don't really use it that much, but uh, some people use it. It's a window where you can trim your clip before you drop it down into your timeline. I usually do all my editing right down in the timeline. Next window over here is your preview window where you can preview anything that you're editing in your trimmer window or that you have down in your timeline. The next window on the far right is your master bus which is basically controls the master volume for your whole project. Um, there's also some windows you can't see. They have tabs over here on the left side. You can see these tabs. Uh, the first one obviously that was the project media we went over. The next one is your explorer. It pulls up an explorer window that allows you to go in through your, um, your hard drive and select clips photos, audio, video, anything you need to drag it in to your project. Uh, the next one is transition. We'll go in deeper into that in another tutorial, but basically it has all your transitions that you can use throughout your project. The tab next to it is your video effects. As you can see here, there's a long list of video effects. When you click on them, like this one is black and white, you can see it gives you a variation, five different variations of this black and white effect black restore border uh, gives you different variations so uh, the next one if you click over the last one is media generators um, which I don't use this a lot sometimes I do for a solid colors but you can see here these are just media clips that you can drag into your timeline and use them for whatever you think you may need to use them for now the interface you see here is a uh, flexible interface. You can you can adjust it and manipulate it any way you see that fits you best. Um, as you can see here, if you put your cursor over these separators between the uh, different windows, you can adjust them side to side. You can adjust them up and down. If you want your timeline smaller and you want this stuff bigger, you can uh, adjust it. Or if you you've got a lot of tracks in your timeline and you just want to see them all you can do it and you can do the same thing with your um, tracks as you insert tracks here you can make them big wider and smaller as needed um, this is your timeline area down here this is where all the editing is basically done as you get uh, different clips your audio and video and everything it's, you're gonna drag it into your timeline and that's where you're going to add a lot of your transitions, your uh, video effects that you put on it. You're going to adjust your volume, you know, of any color correction. You're going to do it all down here on the timeline. Now, you can also undock your windows on Sony Vegas. So, if you follow where my cursor is up here, you see you've got these, I think it's one, two, three, four, five dots. If you put your cursor over here, you can drag this preview window out of the position it's at. And if you, I, I don't do it much, but some people may do it, but if you want to set it up different for um, different things you might be doing, you can save 
a view like this so where if you want to have your view where you want the preview window out or or any of these windows you can just drag them out from where they're at you go up to the top menu here and you click views you go to window layouts and save layout as and it'll let you save this layout um, it gives you I think you can have 10 different layouts here I don't have any uh, I'll show you how you can save it you just call it whatever you want I'll call this layout one and save it as that so now when you go back into your views you can go to your uh, right here it shows up as layout one um, if you want to get it back to the main you know say you've taken out some of these windows here I'll take out another one and you want to get it back to the main setup that Sony Vegas uh, has it set up as you basically you're just going to go back to your view again you want to go to Windows layout and come down here to the default layout click that and boom it's like a magic you're right back to normal so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for watching I'll have more uh, if you uh, have any ideas for what you want to see any tutorials go ahead and leave it in the comments section you can subscribe and uh, I'll try to uh, answer any questions you may have or I'll create some tutorials for anything you guys need to know thanks